And he strikes out swinging, another strikeout. Now Dunning's 2-2 pitch, and he struck him out again. After that ball leaves my hand, I can't, unless the ball's hit back at me, I can't control what happens. So it's like, if things get out of whack or out of hand, it's like, you know, focus on the situation and control the, the things that you can control and don't worry about what happens. Dane Dunning's cool, calm, and collected mindset has helped him become an important piece in the Rangers' potent starting rotation this season. 2-1, the bouncer back to Dunning. He'll go to second for one, and the throw to first in time, double play. The offseason additions of a trio of highly touted arms to the Rangers rotation forced Dunning into the bullpen to start the season. His eight appearances in April were all in relief, and he adjusted to this new role rather quickly. He did not allow an earned run over his first 17 innings of the season. And that one is swung on and missed. And Dane Dunning indeed gets through seven shutout innings. Well, Dane Dunning, excellent work once again tonight for the Rangers. Really, the major adjustment is just being able to go longer through the game. So my preparation work beforehand has to be a little bit different. Just making sure that, you know, cardio is there and everything's there. Because, uh, you know, coming to the pin, you might go two innings, three innings max. But when you start, it's... You can go six, seven, eight innings, hopefully nine, but going longer in the games, longer pitch count, so that's really the main difference. Dunning's momentum from the pin carried over to his first start of the season on May 5th when he scattered a couple of hits over five shutout innings against the Halos. And he's been such a big piece of what we're doing around here, you know. The good thing about a team is that we have depth. He started in the bullpen, he was a huge piece of the bullpen. He was picking up a whole bunch of innings, doing great. Do him in the rotation, nothing has changed. He's going out there, he's filling up the zone, getting quick outs, and he's going deep in the game. So we're lucky to have him, and he's on a quite a roll. Whatever role he's been in this year, he's done great. He's been the same guy. He's getting outs, he's getting ground balls, he's working quick, he's helping us get back in the dugout. It's fun to, to play behind him. Dunning finished with only 100 pitches. A career high 10 strikeouts. Going eight and two thirds, those four hits, two runs. The best part in here is the fact that he didn't walk anybody. He came right after the Detroit Tiger hitters. The 28 year old righty finished the first half with a career best 2.84 ERA. His drive to constantly improve has helped him seek out some of the staff's veteran hurlers for advice. So I remember one of the conversations we had was just about. When you start a game, you're going to cruise 80, 90% of the time, but there's going to be the time where runners are on. There's going to be a couple points in the game that decides it's going to be a good start or a bad start. And I think he's done a really good job of, you know, really shutting him down, and I think he's done a really good job of that. I think it's just trying to simplify the game. You know, a lot of the times I feel like when you give up a hit, you want to try and do more. And especially with a guy like him and the stuff that he has, he's able to get a ground ball double play right away. He's been handling everything great. And, I mean, we've needed him too because obviously losing Jacob, it's, uh, it was a big blow for us, but you know he was doing a great job at the beginning of the season just filling in in the bullpen area. Uh, long relief and being able to come in and throw up zeros. Anytime you do that from the bullpen, that's huge for us. And you know I felt like he just jumped right into the role as the starter again. And I mean, I think that's what he feels more comfortable doing. And uh, yeah, I think he's done a great job of just being able to go out there every five days and give us quality start after quality start. He's just been the utility knife. You know, he's come in the pen, pitched four innings, two innings. And then, you know, DeGrom goes down and just completely takes control of that spot. And, you know, every time his day's up as the bullpen guy, you know, he's giving me five to eight innings every single time. And, you know, personally, it's, it's nice knowing that you know, those innings are covered and we can relax for those five to eight innings. My brother used to always, we used to write on our gloves and our hat all the time was, we would write mile, but the M-I-L-E, so make it look easy. I kind of try to stick to it as much as possible, especially with how hard this game is. It's just, you know, have fun and make it look easy.